Hello YouTube and welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros here at North Country Memorials. We are so glad that you've joined us today. It is our 100th episode. Believe it or not, we have done 99 of these and this makes 100. So very excited about that. We are almost at 400 subscribers. So if you've been watching these videos and you are not subscribed, shame on you. No, it's okay. But just go down, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna try and pack as much different elements into this video as I can. We're gonna be setting some headstones. We're gonna be etching headstones. We're gonna be carving headstones putting stencils on, we're gonna be doing some painting, which we almost never do. So it's gonna be a busy episode, come along. I uh, really appreciate all the support from you guys. I get lots of different phone calls and emails and questions and always glad to chat with uh, the different viewers and the different guys in the industry that I've come across. It's really been a lot of fun. And so um, a lot of you guys, you know who you are, have called and chatted with me and different things. And so I just wanna say thank you to you guys. Anyways, today I'm gonna be busy doing some stuff here in the shop, but I am also on my way right now out to do some installing of some bronze. I'll bring you along for that. First thing I gotta do is grab some duct tape and gonna need a pair of pliers. Other than that, everything else is ready in my car. So let's go. Still some pretty leaves. A lot of them are coming down now though. Not very many of them left. We are here at the cemetery and this is the stone in question. This bronze is just not put on well and so they had asked me if I can do anything about it which I can so that's what I'm gonna do we got that done pretty simple job um, I don't know how well it's gonna hold there's some gunk and stuff inside those holes that I couldn't really get out but it is on better than it was hopefully it'll hold well I didn't charge anything for this this was not my job to begin with it was something the cemetery wanted fixed. And anytime I can do something like that, quick and easy, use my skills to help the cemetery a little bit, a little volunteer, I'm glad to try and do it. So that's kind of where we're at. Now back to the office. All right, YouTube, it is the next day. I got all that bronze work done. And now I'm at the shop and working on something I don't do very often. I have got to do some paint on this stone right here got it set up. This is something the customer requested. I gave them my normal spiel of how I feel about paint and that its longevity is not going to be great, but that, uh, you know, I certainly can do it if that's what they want. And so ultimately they decided that is what they wanted. And so I said, no problem, we can do it. Um, lithochrome. This is the best paint that you can get for stone for granite um, it's pretty much the industry standard and i get it in aerosol because i don't feel like putting a gun together and all that stuff so i just get the can it's easy to use works well um, had to buy a new bottle we hadn't used the old one in so long that it was kind of in rough shape and it it wouldn't go i i popped the top on the old can that i had and pressed it and nothing came out. So we got a new can here. We'll shake it up. And put this paint on. So what I'm gonna do is put very thin coats on and put a few of them on to kind of build it up and hopefully I'll have something that will last as long as possible for paint. First we'll test it here on an area that's not Covered it all. Make sure she's working. All right, I think she's good to go. So I'm gonna hold back a decent ways. And just do a nice light coat to start. Well, this is going pretty good here. And you can see these letters are getting much wider. We're layering by layer here. 
probably do one or two more layers and we'll be done. So let's do one more quick layer. We have got this on, doing well. Starting to peel it off, but I'll wait a little while for this to cure before I peel around the letters. I want those to cure real well. All right, we got that stone all painted. Everything's looking real good on it. The guys got it loaded and they are at the cemetery setting it right now. It is almost dark, so hopefully they get it done before it's too dark to see. Also, don't like to be in cemeteries after dark if we can help it, that's for sure. Right. Something we don't do very much around here anymore is wheel stuff around on carts. But that is exactly what I need to do now. So, I'm going to grab one out here. We got a cart here. I used to do all my working off carts. That's how I mainly did it. Actually, that's the only way I did it when it was me doing it. I have a familiarity with the carts and I kind of enjoy them. Dad and I actually debated not doing rollers in the shop and doing a system that would work on carts. That was kind of back and forth. Dad didn't like that idea. The rollers worked pretty good. But when I do get the occasion to grab a cart, I kind of enjoy it. take you out with the guys they are setting some stones and getting get to see a little bit of that they did us some footage on that a few weeks ago and it never got used so now is a good time to throw a little bit of that in there and then after that we'll get to see just a little bit of what will be coming in an upcoming video showing dad etching a headstone so castle we are setting a stone here today right right and we're just going to show you some of the stuff we do get all close and personal so we have this little level and we measure with it. And then we go over here. Howdy. Okay, so uh, we're in Wildwood. Yeah. Which is that? 
absolutely wonderful. Tell her she gets she gets she gets the gold medal. Now that we have gotten this about centered evenly over the stone. Somewhat. Got the stone center on the base, I mean. We will Big bits. do our very best. Big bits, got it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do our very best. Right. To do what? What's next? Right. To yep. set the stone down. So the setting yeah, compound is basically like a Concrete. no, it's a way that we keep moisture out of between the stones and it is basically just a sealer between the two stones. So what we do is we roll it out like this and we try to set it underneath. We try to set it underneath the stone between the two stones to make a sealer so no water can really get in there and expand and push that stone where we don't want it because it's your legacy in stone and we don't want Rick and Robin here stone to move once we set it here we want it to be permanent so sorry I almost didn't catch this part but basically we had that little plastic in the middle we put our fancy dancy tool here. I pick it up. We can see underneath it. We pull this plastic out. We fold that up, set that down. We have all this excess. I don't know where it's the best angle to see this, but we have all this excess setting compound. So how we solve that problem is we reach over here in our nifty difty setting box we whip out our pocket knives and we just cut off the excess castle over there setting another stone and we got a couple more to set today and we're all ready to rock and roll But that is the done stone. Now I pick up the last little things over here. We're done with that one. On to the next and on with our day. I hope you guys had a good time learning with us and coming along with us. I don't know if any of this audio is good. I sure hope it was. Welcome to another edition of Gravestone Pros, as Christian would say. Well, when I said a little bit of everything, I meant everything. Here I am in my office, looking at stuff, working at the shop, getting things done here at the desk. That's what I do day in, day out. This is where I spend most of my time. Dad uh, gets to spend a lot of time out in the shop, a lot of time in the truck, out on the road doing stuff. but. This is where I am. This is what I'm doing. Not always the most exciting, but it's got to be done. Somebody's got to make sure that the bills get paid, that uh, everything keeps running smoothly, stone keeps arriving, and stone's going out when it's supposed to. So that's what I do. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it educational and entertaining. That is always my goal for sure. We'd be dropping another video every Friday evening. So make sure you come back so we can see you next time.